links anymore. Hey, Palo is really good Palo in this is game, super too. super nice in this game. She's great. Both these characters had some pretty good showings at a bigger event. Uh, considered by most to be pretty high tier characters. Uh, so it'll be really interesting to see. This matchup takes a lot of focus on can Inkling with Punish Palutena's aerials. Um, because if not, then it's going to come down to Palutena can press a lot of buttons that Inkling has to respect. Mm hmm. It looks like. Um Let's see actually how this Inkling plays. Maybe he'll play a little more uh, defensive, stay back a bit with grenades, just kind of wait for Palo to make the first mistake here or commit. Because um, Palo actually, her tilts can be pretty laggy. So yeah. if, if she makes a mistake, uh, Inkling can just come up and easily come in for a dash grab or anything. So yeah, let's right now, it looks like Scoop Dog's just doing a great job of trapping Pure on the ledge. He's able to get up, and now he actually gets the forward smash, tries to t catch a tech in with that forward smash. And they're going to just say, and he catches the instant back That's air. That's good back air. At the edge, smart. Palo has such good options, and it looks like uh, Scoop Dog's actually playing really patient. Uh, that was a great tech chase from Pura, though. He actually calls out the neutral grab with the up smash, doesn't get the uh, strong hit, but he does get some more damage and stage control. Has him on the ledge, goes for the bomb, actually goes out there with the nair. She wants those down tilt forward air <laughs> conversion series. Those are free for her, especially yeah. at low percentages. And Pure doing the right thing right now, just trying to find a backer that moves super safe on block. Pretty solid uh, knockback. Oh, Ooh, that was good. Up there into the jabs. Okay, Pure knows what he's doing a little bit though. All right, I'm trying to get an edge gas. Gonna be hard to uh, edge guard Palu on the ledge. Ooh, but is he gonna? Yep. yep. Okay, awesome. Roller. That move still grounds you in for a while. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of people were actually talking about it. It got nerfed um, in some aspects, but eh, so the way <laughs> it actually got changed is pre-120, it's much slow. It's much shorter, but post-120, it's actually longer than it used to be um, because of the way that they changed the base knockback versus the growth on it. Okay. <laughs> um, so you aren't rude as long base, but it scales up a little bit harder. So you're just like, can you mash out of it faster? Is that what you're saying? Uh, at lower percents, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, the lower percents. But still, at those high percents, At those high percents, like it's still, it, you're still pretty dead at high percent. All right. Well, let's see. I think Pierre is doing a lot better this stock. Yeah, that was a great there. Tries to tech chase with the up smash, but he gets dash tagged for it. Ooh, going deep for that bear. Uh, trying to get that on Pira. Oop. All right. Tries for the dash dance into the roller. Pretty common tactic from the Inklings. Oh. Right now, honestly, pretty even game. The back is going to force him off in the oh. explosive flame. Yeah, that's definitely going to get you. If you're not looking out for that, that's going to catch you. Yeah, you definitely got to watch out for that. It's kind of hard to see. You know, you kind of got to be watching Palutena more than the projectile itself. Well, Scoop is also mixing it up. He's going off stage, going deep for back airs, um, and then mixing it up by doing, ex yeah, explosive flame. So uh, he's doing a good job. All right, that backer actually trading with Inkling down smash. Not going to be able to get the kill because he has double jump, but it's starting to look like Scoop Dog doing a great job of just running away with this game. All right, and looks like Inkling's also using his uh, dashing to his advantage, just kind of keeping out um, in front of Palu, trying to go in for those grabs or that nair. Yeah, definitely um, keeping Scoop on his toes right now. Yes, keeping him on his toes, trying to follow up with anything that he can. But I don't feel like at this percent he's going to follow up with anything. So he needs to start looking for something that's going to kill. Yeah, I'd like to just see like a short hop fair. It would probably kill at this percent. Um, something like that. Even a back throw would likely be strong. I feel like he's committing too much to these rollers, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that back here gonna be enough know. to do it. He is still alive in this game. Inkling has some pretty strong low percent combos, but it doesn't matter. The up smash coming out from Palu. Yeah, I mean, just gonna run up with his invulnerability. Give him just the beam of light up real and quick. Do it. <laughs> yeah, shows him the light. I mean, hey, he was at zero percent and kind of didn't have much to lose there. Yeah, I mean, he felt pretty confident. You know, even if he got punished for it, wasn't gonna be in a position where he's all the time losing. Of course, exactly. All right, well, let's see if we get a new uh, stage pick here. Let's see what stage Pura decides to choose. I don't know. I mean, I'm, honestly, Pura looks like he could uh, take, you know, this game, maybe this set. He was honestly doing pretty well for this mm -hmm. game one. But it's going to come down to, does he have Scoop figured out enough to bring it back, or is Scoop going to run away with this 2-0? Yeah, we have to see if Pura is going to adapt um, to Scoop's play style here. 
and see if he can figure it out. A stage change will definitely be beneficial, though. So he needs to think about this. FD going to be the pick here? It is. All right. So I feel like this stage pretty all right for Inkling. Um, you know, Inkling's up here pretty solid for catching people's landings. Um, but I, honestly, I kind of prefer platforms. I don't think this is the worst or best stage you could have chose. He probably wanted to take the platforms from Palace. Yeah. So I think this is actually a good stage pick, a counter pick for Pyrrha here, uh, especially as Inkling. But all right, we have game two coming in here, starting it off. Um, all right, trying to do get some damage, start something with the grenade. I am including jab, actually going to beat out Palutena's a little bit more range on it. Down throw into the fair, going to try and for a dash attack to catch Good the grab. landing. Ooh, yeah, I think he maybe should pummel too many two times there at lower percentages. Kind of just want to throw, see if he can get some conversion off of the grab. Um, but yeah, Palu mashed. <laughs> she mashed. Yeah, no, out she's of not. That. You know, Scoop, bit of a veteran, he knows better than to let uh, Pure pummel him too many times. Ooh. I like that was the a good try. You know, a lot of inklings when they're in that scary situation, they'll go over the ledge, try and hit you with the mm -hmm. landing hitbox of their up B. But that up smash definitely would have caught it. Yeah, that was definitely a smart try from Scoop Dog, trying to catch that because uh, the recovery can be uh, tricky. Sometimes I've seen people miss the ledge and land on top. So yeah. Oh, but all right. That was actually a great reaction. Pure jumped over the ledge and tried to throw a splat bomb at. Scoop Dog, but Scoop Dog was ready through the explosive flame back out right where Pure was. That was smart. That down was smart because he couldn't do anything to edge guard there. Auto reticle kind of stopped that. Yeah, and that down smash was actually super good from Pure, but it was just slightly misspaced. Yeah, Scoop Dog's, Dog's doing a really good job of uh, kind of yeah, sh waiting, shielding, um, and kind of keeping him out with her tilts. Auto Renical, all of these moves here. So he's playing really well. Here is having a difficult time here, trying to figure out what he needs to do in this scenario. Right. Okay. Down throw, gonna get the fair. Actually, not a true combo anymore. With Pure able percentage. to land with the fair. Yeah. Actually, has stage control right now, uses the back air to force him off. He goes low, but he doesn't commit early enough. All right. Nair into, yeah, Explosive Flame. Didn't catch him. Oh, and that Nair's going to yeah. do it. Uh, wow, actually, oh. I'm mistaken. Tries for the runoff. Nair not going to find it. Inkling going to just nearly escape under him. That Nair is going to catch. He's got him on the ropes right now. Goes for an F tilt. Able to nearly escape past Jab. Almost getting the stock as well. That was also a good down tilt. Yeah, Pure right now just putting struggling. A, yeah, he's putting a lot of pressure. Okay, there's there's great, the great first lead. stock. Great lead. Catches the roll get up with the forward smash. He, right now, Pure just has to try and find a way to make up some damage. And he can be getting hit with things like that. That dash tag probably going to kill. He barely avoids that forward smash. Alright, he gets A back here. Not going to find anything after it. I feel like at this percentage too... Pyrrha might just need to play a little more patient, uh, wait for Palu to come in, uh, maybe jump in with some type of aerial catcher, get a grab conversion, or honestly, something, I'm but he's he's going in a little too hard here. I'm honestly, I don't feel like I'm seeing enough grabs oh. from Pure. We lost the, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like he's kind of going in and out, and then trying to catch you know, Scoop Dog doing something as shield, where instead he can just kind of pressure Scoop Dog's shield and get his true grab damage. Uh, because Inkling does have some true combos out of up throw at low percents, where, you know, it gets some good damage, gets good control. And we're not really seeing that too much from Pure. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta wait and shield, make for your opponent to make the first mistake. And Oh, okay, oh, okay. Roller, roller canceling Texas it. Roller. Okay. Not gonna find the up smash afterwards. Scoop, Abor, mash out early this time. Back yeah, though, the move here. Gonna punish Pyrrha for coming and landing with an aerial right in front of Palu. Um, looks like this is looking pretty rough, I think, Pyrrha. Alright, he catches the jump. He gets yeah. the runoff near. Nowhere for Inkly to go. He is gonna lose the game. That's a 2-0 for Scoop Dog.